Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip answers the question, shows us how to answer the question, is this point a solution to an equation, for example? For example, is 2 comma 8 a solution to the equation y equals 3x plus 2? If it is a solution, both sides of the equation will have the same value, and the difference between the two sides will be 0. So enter the absolute value of the difference between the two sides of the evaluated equation. So the equation is y equals 3x plus 2. The y is 8. So we'll say 8 equals to 3x. But x is a 2. Here's our x. So 3 times 2 is 6. So is 8 equal to 6 plus 2? Yes. So when I'm trying to find the difference between the two sides of the equation, the difference is 0 because they are equal. 3 comma 5 and y equals 3x minus 2. The y is 5. The x is 3. So is 5 equal to 9 minus 2? Nope, because y, 5 is not equal to 7. So when I put in the difference between the two sides of the equation, the difference is 2. 3 comma 8 and 2x plus 3. So is 8 equal to 2 times 3 plus 3? Is 8 equal to 6 plus 3? No, 8 is not equal to 9. And the difference is 1. Oops. 3 comma 1. And y equals 2x minus 5. So the y is 1. The x is 3. So is 1 equal to 6 minus 5? Yes. So that when we're writing the difference between the two sides of the equation, the difference is 0. So just a quick check to see if a point is a solution to an equation. These are linear equations. There's an infinite number of points that are solutions anywhere along that line. But there's any point that's not on that line will not be a solution.